really cool girl bands. No, that doesn't work. Um, I do not know what to call this episode. Uh, women in music. Um, what else could I say? All right, girls that play guitar, write songs, and sing really well, all in one deal. Chicks that rock, that sing, and play guitar. And so I want to do this episode on chicks that rock, that play guitar. Is that like okay to say that, or should I say I mean, it another way? Chicks do rock, and a lot of us play guitar, so yeah. you know, yeah. you could say it. Okay, <laughs> that's what this episode is. Hey guys, this is Jason Dean. Welcome to another episode of School of Reality Rock where the message is in the music and the video. We're gonna get right into Check This Band right now. The band that I want you to check out is Deep Sea Diver. I've been a fan of them for, gosh, probably over a year now and I just nerd out on music. So if you don't nerd out on music like I do, some of this stuff might be boring to you, but if you like really cool music that oozes with Jesus, you found the right place. So when we're talking about girls that rock, that write the songs, sing really well, and play guitar like phenomenally, uh, we're talking about Jessica Dobson from Deep Sea Diver. Also Madison Cunningham, we could do a whole nother episode on that, but this episode we're gonna cover Deep Sea Diver. They've got a brand new album coming out, I'm so excited about. Uh, as far as right now, when I'm filming this video, three videos have come out. The video I'll, that I want you to watch is called uh, Impossible Weight. So in this video, Impossible Weight, the lyrical content is amazing. It really is about don't idolize me and it's about having healthy boundaries in your life. And so Deep Sea Diver, uh, a lot of the theme really is about having healthy boundaries in relationships, in relationships with the church, in relationships with, uh, you know, dating relationships, in relationships with friends. So in this song, Impossible Weight, Jessica dives into having healthy boundaries as she usually writes about having healthy boundaries. Back on the album, History Speaks, it was about having healthy boundaries within the church. and. You know, early on she was involved uh, with the church quite a bit and that could be a challenge. You know, sometimes if you are a church volunteer or involved in the worship team, sometimes there could be impossible weights that are put upon you. And History Speaks, that album really dives into that whole topic. They're deep sea diver. They're willing to dive deep into the issues of life and what's really going on within personalities and people. And so if you do not want to deal with your issues, your problems, Deep Sea Diver may not be the band for you. But if you're somebody that wants to learn about yourself and how you work and having healthy boundaries in your life, and you like really cool guitar and some pretty cool songs, this might be the band for you. In the song Impossible Way, Jessica does a duet with Sharon Van Etten. I really don't know a whole lot about her, and but I really like what she brings to the song. And I know that Jessica was at one of her concerts, uh, which is the same venue that is in the video, Impossible Way, where Jessica saw Sharon in concert and got to talk after the concert, and hey, that was really cool. And then they wind up, you know, becoming friends and singing on this song, which is really cool. And then in the video, you'll see Jessica bring this box with the album cover in all these random places. And it's really a response to the COVID situation where musicians and players are not able to fill venues and have really cool music things happen and concerts. So she takes the concert to all these random places and it's done very creatively, really cool eye catching and you'll want to watch more. A couple of other things that I really like about Deep Sea Diver, I like that they have depth to them. I like that Jessica plays guitar, insanely crazy, and she's willing to explore sounds and tones and seems to be addicted to that kind of vibe. And her husband, Peter, is on the drums. 
And Peter was actually the one that encouraged Jessica to really cross that bridge of bringing her faith into the music. For quite some time, Jessica was separating that and really just leaving her faith within music within the church. But then when she'd go out and play clubs and do that music, she would consider herself more of a pedestrian and really kind of keep that separate. But Peter was the one that encouraged her to bring her faith into her lyric songs that went into the clubs. And so that's really cool to see. It becomes pretty obvious once you start catching on to her lyrics. So your homework assignment for this week is to go check out the video Impossible Weight by Deep Sea Diver. I will put the link down below, make it super easy for you to check out. And also down below in the description, there's all kinds of other goodies, playlists, other artists that you should check out. I'm always gonna give you a ton more than what you're really asking for. But go check out the video and then also ask yourself the question, uh, what is the impossible weight that is on you that you need to let go of and have healthy boundaries with in your own life, whether it might be from your friendships, relationships, uh, church life, whatever it may be. What are some impossible weights that you are maybe putting on yourself? Write a description of those and give those to the Lord and commit that to prayer. And now it's time for our one minute interview. I got a chance to catch up with Izzy Ray. Izzy Ray plays guitar, sings, and writes songs. She plays electric guitar, so let's check it out. All right, hey guys, this is Jason. We're hanging out, and with me I've got Izzy Ray. And Izzy is a chick that rocks and plays guitar. So how did you first get into electric guitar and get addicted to tones? And Because I yeah. know that you're into that. Yeah, I played piano first, actually, and it never really clicked with me. I, I wanted something that was more rhythmic and so I started playing guitar when I was 11 and my parents bought me this little heart-shaped electric guitar. It was like this big and I just played that all the time and something about it was so exciting like the way that oh this this rhythm that I feel inside is like I can put that on the outside. It just it was a really fun experiment at first and then started writing songs and then it really became this tool for me to like get my feelings out and so yeah. You've got some new music coming out, yeah. so what's that titled? Yes, I have a new album coming out this Friday, uh, October 9th, and it's called Self Untitled. So I'm really excited, it's nine awesome. original songs and it's my fourth full length album, so. What's your most influential album that oozes with Jesus? Mm. I think, honestly, for songwriting, the OG Phil Wickham stuff, like, I think it was his self-titled album? I think it was self-titled, okay. but it's just black and white. It's like him yeah. with like a very deep V, probably, V-neck on, but those songs were like very influential to me as a young, budding songwriter. So. Awesome. And my friend Madison Cunningham is a wonderful, sweet baby angel who's amazing at guitar. So go listen to her stuff also. Very cool. All right. Well, thanks. Yay. Yeah. Izzy's got some brand new music that's coming out if you're watching this before October 9th or if you're watching it after October 9th, 2020, go back and check out that album. Izzy has quite a bit of music out. She was raised up in a musical home. Her mom is Crystal Lewis, who's got a ton of music out. For you hip hop fans and pop lovers, don't worry. Hip hop is coming, pop music is coming. This episode is going to highlight those that are girls that play guitar, sing, and do songwriting. And when I was growing up, I didn't really listen to a whole lot of music that oozed with Jesus. So I first was listening to bands like The Pretenders and The Go-Go's and uh, who else was there? Lita Ford. And in Christian music, there really wasn't a whole lot, but there were a few. There was an all-girl rock band called Rachel Rachel. Uh, then there was girls like Kim Hill, uh, Margaret Becker, Amy Grant. That really more played acoustic guitar. That didn't really necessarily play electric lead solos and all of that. And here at School of Reality Rock, one of our favorite girls that plays guitar, sings songs, is Roxy Jane. Gotta go check her stuff out. 
You know, as we look at rock and roll history, before there was Elvis, before there was Chuck Berry, before the Beatles, there was Sister Rosetta Thorpe. Sister Rosetta Thorpe was known as the godmother of rock and roll. It was in the 30s that she was a kid playing guitar, and in fact, it was the late 30s that they first made the very first electric guitar made by Rickenbacker. It was called the Frying Pan. And then some of the, uh, the big bands, the orchestras uh, that had guitar were playing so hard their fingers would bleed. So they were trying to come up with creative ways to get that guitar a little bit louder. And lo and behold, we have the electric guitar. So Gibson, Les Paul, all of these amazing guitars had come out. And Sister Rosetta Thorpe, a little girl going to church with her mom, Man, she learned how to play that guitar well, and she invented rock and roll. So in the late 30s, and then through the 40s, Sister Rosetta Thorpe wrote some amazing songs. I'll put some of her songs down below for you to go check that out. That is some amazing history to dig into because all of those guys, Chuck Berry, Elvis, uh, I mean, even the Rolling Stones, all those guys are gonna point back to her to say that she was the one that was first doing this stuff. Sister Rosetta Thorpe grew up in the church and really she would go out to the public venues, the public square with her songs that she would bring in spiritual songs out into the open. So when we talk about crossing mainstream, Sister Rosetta Thorpe was the first one. So rock and roll invented by her and she was also the first Christian artist that crossed over to mainstream. She was living outside the boundaries of what other people were expecting from her. That is an impossible weight. And so I love that line in Impossible Weight by Deep Sea Diver. I might as well go ahead and let you down now because it's gonna eventually happen sooner or later. So last week, your homework assignment was to check out Rivers and Robots. We were to look for what Jonathan was saying, who God is and what God does and how that affects our life. And here's some things that I kind of came up with and I was wondering if you saw the same things. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of School of Reality Rock. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. And it's so fun listening to new music and checking out new bands. Until next time, later.